It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of December. I'm James Spann. The rain out of here for a while. Kind of blustery, windy, and cold today. But uh, we'll start the clearing, I think, this afternoon. And by golly, we've got a few dry days ahead. But uh, rain begins as or rain returns as the weekend begins. So let's go in there and take a look. This is the water vapor satellite view early this morning. The axis of the trough that's been west of the state is finally moving through here. And that is pushing the rain out. That's a radar at 5.08 this morning. At that point, the rain was south and east of a line from near Wadawi to Rockford and Camden. And uh, by the time you watch this, all of that should be in Georgia. And uh, we're going to be dry. That's good. That's also good because we're below freezing now in parts of uh, North Alabama. Cullman and Haleyville are at or below freezing, but with the uh, moisture long gone, We've heard of no bridge icing problems, and the Weather Service in Huntsville canceled that winter weather advisory they had issued about 3.30 this morning. Uh, and that's a good thing. We have just missed all of the winter weather mischief this time. And ice is no good. Uh, the day ahead will be windy and cold. We will not get past the mid-40s today. And around the nation, it's just so cold. I mean, this, this, this cold air has staying power. The only warmth is down in Florida. If you're looking to warm up, head down the air. They've been very warm uh, for the last two weeks or longer. Places like Orlando and Tampa and Daytona and Fort Myers and Miami. That's your retreat away from the cold. I guess the nastiest weather in the nation this morning is up around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. They've got winter storm warnings with a little burst of heavy snow. Uh, they might see three to five inches through those cities. Uh, D.C., I think the federal government shut down today. It's a snow day. Many of the schools as well. Winter weather advisories down into parts of uh, the Cumberland Plateau in Tennessee, but again, that will be canceled soon, and things are relatively calm for much of the nation. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning. About an inch showing up here, and that will be during the day Saturday, as you'll see. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. Trough finally moving east of here. Down below that, windy and cold. Uh, again, we won't get past the low to mid-40s today. The question is, will the sun come out? And I think we will begin the clearing this afternoon. Hopefully, you'll see some. But if you don't see the sun today, by golly, you will tomorrow. This is tomorrow, and uh, we'll start the day down in the mid-20s, but the high should be in the low to mid-50s with a bright, sunny sky. Nice. Thursday, the thickness values come down a little bit. Uh, the numbers are coming down. In fact, the, the NAM is printing a high of only 43 on Thursday with the secondary push of cold air. So uh, Thursday will be sunny, but it will be cold. Uh, highs in the 40s. This is Friday. Friday morning should be pretty cold. We'll be in the 20s, but the high should be up in the 50s on Friday afternoon. And again, the sky will be sunny, but clouds will move back in here Friday night and Saturday. Look at the trough axis coming in from the northwest, and uh, that looks very wet on Saturday. So if you've got something planned outdoors, better think twice or maybe move it to Sunday or some other day. Uh, there is a broad surface low, 1,012 millibar low just north of here, but there's no instability, so... Uh, no severe weather, maybe some thunder, but again, severe weather, not a problem. Here's the European. This is at Saturday at uh, noon. And again, it's very similar with that uh, axis of rain in here. The rain is ending at that point over northwest Alabama. You know, it could be, and this will be a quick hitting rain shot. Uh, might be a deal where it rains from about 3, 4 o'clock Saturday morning until 1 or 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Rain amounts of one half to one inch are likely. And then Sunday, the rain's gone. It's out of here. Now, we turn colder, though. Highs drop back in the 40s on Sunday. You know, about the time we get up in the 50s, we get knocked back down. And here's uh, Monday. little energy coming through here, and it's trying to pull down some colder air. Again, highs probably in the 40s on Monday. Uh, but we stay dry, and this is Tuesday of next week. A week from today, December 17th, the weather dry with a high around 50, maybe low 50s. Let's go out there toward Christmas, what do you say? This is December 22nd. Model showing a touch of light rain. The end of the forecast, Christmas Day. Big trough axis west of the state this time with rain moving in here. And, of course, you know, if you saw the video yesterday, you saw one uh, deterministic GFS run had a big, big dump of very cold Arctic air before Christmas. Uh, this is kind of holding that off. And every run's going to look different. 
But, uh, you know, once we get within about seven days of Christmas, we'll have a better idea of what exactly is going to happen. But for now, there's not been much consistency out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here uh, by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.